Good morning. International Space Station is speaking. I am Oleg Kalanenko, ISS Expedition 58, commander from Russia. David Sanjak, flight engineer from Canada, and McLean, flight engineer from USA. On behalf of my crew, I would like to persuade the United States of America and the NASA team with this significant event, successful launch and dock of SpaceX crew Dragon spaceship. It's honor and uh, pride for us to meet with uh, this spaceship here on board the International Space Station and uh, to become a part of uh, important mission for the U.S. space program and the historical step uh, on our way. And historical step all way of a human being, human being uh, beyond maybe the whole Earth's orbit to the Moon and Mars in the future. Hello, bonjour. Of course, uh, honored and privileged to be here on this important day. We're standing in uh, Node 2, the very forward end of Space Station, where the space shuttles used to dock. And now we have a brand new vehicle that's come this morning, flawless operations, the result of years of work, thousands of people around the world among many teams. And uh, it was a beautiful thing to see. Of course, Space Flight is all about teamwork, collaboration. Today we welcome a the brand new spacecraft to Space Station, a great new uh, uh, addition to the quiver of tools we have, humans, to further space exploration. This is a, a good day, first day of a, a new era uh, for the next generation of space explorers. Our sincere congratulations to all Earthlings who have enabled the opening of this next chapter in space exploration. To the International Space Station teams, past and present, who stand guard 24 hours a day at control centers from Moscow to Japan, Germany to Houston. Congratulations to the teams at SpaceX and Boeing who have been working diligently to define what this new era of commercial spaceflight will look like. And congratulations to all nations, private space firms, and individuals who wake up every day driven by the magic of exploration. This day begins to all, belongs to all of us. Spaceflight gives us a chance to reflect on the context of our existence. We're reminded that we are human before any of our differences, before all of the lines that are drawn that divide us. And we are reminded that we're at our best when we are part of something bigger than ourselves. In 1957, just over 60 years ago, history changed when Russia launched Sputnik, the world's first artificial satellite. People across the globe gathered in backyards and looked up at the night sky hoping to catch a glimpse. A few years later, people of all nationalities gripped hands, hoping and praying for Yuri Gagarin's successful launch as he became the first human in space. And in 1969, every TV across the globe was tuned in as Buzz, Michael, and Neil embarked on the first human journey to the moon. Today, human advancement of exploration continues as the first new space vehicle designed for humans in over 40 years arrived at our front door, welcomed by our crew of one Russian, one Canadian, and one American who have been living together as family for three months aboard the International Space Station. These events remind us that we are more alike than different, that we can be united by a cause that is not based on fear, threat, or common enemy, but rather on a bold endeavor, an insatiable curiosity to go beyond what is known and to do what has never been done. We humans were built for exploration, and we were built to do it together. I think we should show off the newest space vehicle.
On behalf of Ripley, Little Earth, myself, and our crew, welcome to the Crew Dragon. Congratulations to all of the teams who made yesterday's launch and today's docking a success. These amazing feats show us not how easy our mission is, but how capable we are of doing hard things. Welcome to the new era in spaceflight.